<laughs> What's this? We're on time. We're on time? Oh my gosh. How do we get on time? <laughs> Wait, mean. we're going to throw people off because nobody's going to join us because they're not going to think that we're on. They're going to go, what? They're, uh, they're a minute early. They're gonna what? Five minutes. They're going to wait, show up later. Look who's here, Miss Jennifer. Hey. Hey, Miss Jennifer. How are you? So, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots going on today. I have my notes. So, if I can read them. So, we've got a lot to announce today. We're going to announce, we've got six watchers right now. We're going to announce three of the contest winners for the talk board. Um, there will be more winners, but we're only going to announce the first three. Um, those first three people will get a small cut of um, chalkboard with their staying so they can so they can Super print it out. Yeah, we just have to design, so give us time to design. I may be designing those while I'm on my way to England. So we'll announce Yay. those in a little while. We also want to bring up Beverly Fuchs, who did the most amazing, amazing job of Queen of Freedom and Our Lady of the Flag Queen on our freedom. fabric. She took Americana Stars, and she did it on 36 count over one. Can you crazy. imagine? Crazy. But she did Americana Star sideways. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. So it shows it's a versatile fabric. It can go up ways or that ways. That would be up ways and sideways. All those ways. <laughs> and by the way, um, uh, April's back. She had today. last Easter off. So it it'll be fun. Um, it'll be a fun day. But anyway, um, when we get to the, uh, we decided to show you Queen of Freedom today and, and yes. Americana okay. Fabric. So we will be singing. Um, we'll be singing. We'll be singing praises to Bev. Oh, again. I'm like, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. <laughs> okay, we will be singing. <laughs> Bev. Uh, Terry's asking how my foot is. Um, so let me tell you. Let's hear it. It's it's hurts. It hurts all the time, but I'm getting used to the pain. But I am wearing a, uh, a thing, an ace tight compression, either a sock or an ace bandage on it, all day long. 24 hours a day. Well, not 24, just while I'm sleeping. But I also got this really weird brace that I have to wear. And what the brace does is it you wear the brace and it brings your toes up and brings them to your leg here. So you you sleep like this all night with this, like this. I could only do it for about two hours last night. And I was in so much pain. Because I think what happens is when we get up in the morning, we kind of stretch our toes out and right. stretch them down. My foot can't go down. My foot has to come up. Right. Because of the plantar fasciitis. And I'm going like this and stretching at night. So this brings this foot up to look to like keep this. it like that. I think it would give me the worst. Charlie but I do horses. have two. Yeah. Charlie horses is exactly right. And pain. But I do have two pairs of the fancy shoe company. That means happy feet. Um, uh, Al. Can you read that? Allegria. Allegria. I have two two pairs of those I now. That was an allergy medicine. <laughs> Cindy says she kicked that thing off at night. I wish I could kick mine off because mine's like Fort Knox. Ah, it's like Velcro, so like in six places. So anyway, lots going on. Um, first of all, the first thing I want to talk about is Lizzie Kate. Okay. So as you know, Lizzie Kate is gone. They're retired. They are still filling orders. Um, Jen Lange and I talked to Alan E. Bright yesterday at Lizzie Kate. I still have five more orders coming in. So I have five more big boxes coming in. We are filling the orders. We're pretty much pulled everybody's orders that ordered stuff. We have a ton of stuff left. But we are not going to put up an album right now because we still want to make sure we get every order filled. Right. Um, if you have not paid for your order, chances are you're not going to get your stuff because they, the orders had to be paid by the 30th. Um, boxers were really, really, really limited on boxers from 34, 33 and to 59. On. Very limited. Very, very limited. Um, for those that ordered them, they are coming in, but we only have, you know, we only ordered three of those. And Mary Sparkman and Sarah Sessons and others, those are already claimed. So chances of getting a boxer from 30, you can get number 45, which talks about friends, and you can get 54. We have plenty of those, but we don't have hardly any of the others. We're out of many of them. And in fact, Mary, um, we pulled Mary's box yesterday, and I think there were 11 we were out of, and but they are on the order to come in. So they, um, Alan told us yesterday 
that they it may be weeks before we finally get our final Lizzie Kate orders. Right. I imagine he's so swamped between all the other shops that are. That's what he told. Yeah, he's at him. He said to us yesterday. He said, "I'm not even filling orders to Hoffman right now." He said they are so far behind. Yeah. He said, "So shops go to Hoffman to order our stuff. They're not getting it because we put stores first. He said we took you an order of your orders, and your orders came in here, but 15 stores came before you, and then another order came in, and then another 20 or 30 right, stores. Right. Right. So please bear with us on Lizzie Cates if you don't have them. What we're doing is we're shipping what Lizzie Cates we have. So for people like Mary and Sarah. We're shipping your partial orders, and then we'll have an invoice in there or paper that'll show you what we're missing. Um, for those of you that ordered, and I'll think give thanks. Spring has sprung. Spring. Pets do Christmas. Right. Don't have that. Don't have those yet. Those are on our order, but we do not have them yet. So, anyway, Pandora has joined us. Pandora, April's working late today to get your box out tomorrow. Yeah. So, should we announce the winners, or should we do that later? I don't know. Why not? Who's watching? Okay. We have 65 people. We have 65 That's people cool. watching. So, we went to the thread. We had over 600 comments. Some of them were hilarious. Okay, I have to give Christy Jenkins a shout-out. Not that we would make this in a cross-stitch pattern, but, man, this was pretty funny. She she posted in the cross-stitch pattern, and the thing, it says, it sure is strange that after Monday and Tuesday, the West, the rest of the week spells WTF. <laughs> to me, that was so funny. <laughs> Chances funny. are that's not going to be a cross stitch pattern, but it was funny. So, it Christy, funny. we're going to add something to your pattern because it just made our day. Both of us kind of giggled. So funny. But in no particular order, the winners of the contest who will get of their choice, they'll get the 11 by 14 chalkboard if they want a chalkboard if they want the, the it's a small chalkboard right they will get that and the winners are um <laughs> i did not write her name down uh, i think it's deborah brown i think it's deborah brown um i need to stop i whispered to myself as i clicked add to cart but I, we're going to change it a little bit and we're going to give you two options i need to stop i whispered to myself as i clicked Buy it now. Buy it now. Or add to cart. Add to cart. So I think it was Funny. Deborah Brown. So Deborah Brown, you won there. The next winner was picked by a lot of our admins. A lot of us picked this without knowing what other admins had picked. And it's Christine Hillis. If it doesn't open, it wasn't your door. Love that. Love that. That's very profound. Great. Right. Right. And then I'll um I'll let you announce the third winner. Can you read my writing? Mary Sparkman. Mary Sparkman. I know the voices in my head aren't real, but sometimes their ideas are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so we changed. She had absolutely fabulous. We changed it to flow a little better with the way I figured I was going to design it. So we may give you two options to do amazing or absolutely fabulous. Right. So that's our three winners, Deborah Brown, Mary Sparkman, and Christine Hillis. Super fun. So we will announce more. There were over 600 entries. So we're kind of excited about that. Yeah, Deborah Brown, thank you. <laughs> we like that one, Deborah. We thought that was really cute. So, um, we are going to announce more, but it'll be a couple of weeks. Uh, give us time to get these designed and get you fabric, but we thought this would be fun. <laughs> Look what Jim bought. Moon pie. Jim just came in with moon pies. <laughs> these are the most banana disgusting. Banana flavored. Ones. Banana. They're the, only the banana ones. They're so, so good. So Jim, and, Jim and April <laughs> share banana. You, and what do you do? Do you, you cook? My kids like to put them in the microwave and like warm them up a little bit. They're pretty good. Can you imagine the preservatives that are in those things? You don't think about that. <laughs> but Jim and April, Jim, Jim will come downstairs with a moon pie and he'll go, April, do you want one? She goes, is it banana? He goes, only banana. <laughs> only banana. And like an idiot, I bought chocolate. Chocolate. And they sat up there for two months. Nobody <laughs> ate them until finally they ate them. So well, that's exciting. We're excited about the contest. That was fun. Sorry that took so long. I'm trying to get all the admins together to figure out all right. the ones. But there will be more announcements. We are going to have the admins uh, work on some more. So anyway, um, as you noticed, I had huge help this weekend. April is still back to only four, I'm six around. hours. I'm all over the place. So April's working long hours today, and then she's working Tuesday and Saturday, Saturday mornings. Yeah. It's uh, three hours. So she's only going to get crazy. six hours in this next week. 
here at the shop. So out of the goodness of her heart, Jen Laney came up and helped me. Friday night, we, uh, we, as you guys know, we were at the bar listing wonkies. It was funny. We had a lot of guys come around going, what are you guys doing? And ah. Jennifer goes, we're making money. money. It was funny. But um, I think every single piece sold except for one red one. But don't tell Ann Service. Go check I it think out. what happened is Glenn Hamill said she liked it or just said beautiful. So then Jen goes, it's still available. But I think what happens is on the wonky album, people go down and they say comment, 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 comment. Right. So they don't comment thinking it's been sold. Well, you'll want to check if you really, really like a piece of fabric. Right, double check. Double check because it may be me making a comment or Jen making a comment or someone going, beautiful, or I have this. So Right. So that, that was interesting. But remember, there is no layaways. And I'll explain why there's no layaways on wonky cuts. They take up a lot of space. A lot of space. <laughs> and... Um, after all the wonkies have been shipped, then we pull back the wonkies that that didn't sell or didn't get paid for. Right. And we've got a pile of them right now that either were canceled orders, didn't get paid for, and we will be relisting those. If you want wonkies, please claim them and please pay for them. We've got a number of them that have not been paid for. Right. And it was pretty cool last night. A lot of people, Jenny Harris, huge shout out to you. A number of people wanted fabric that you had claimed. It was very nice of you to give them up. Very nice. Right. She let's gave up all a few. stay friendly. Yeah. Let's not get in fights. And let's, uh, let's ha tell your husband you want faster internet. Right. right. I love the lady that got faster internet because she couldn't get the wonkies fast enough, and her husband has been asking her for seven years. That's hilarious. Can I get faster internet? She finally goes, oh, yes, honey, we can get faster internet. But it was it was ulterior motive. So it's spring. My uh, tulip cup. Those are tulips, right? They tulips and bees. Tulips. <laughs> so, okay. Um, also, it is very important, very, very important, if you are a new member and you want to list stuff in the group, please. The fastest way you're going to get your butt kicked out of the group is to not follow the rules. We get a lot of people that, that list and not put them in albums. Only Jane and I fight. <laughs> Noreen, I don't think the wonky album has been all the way through yet. So if you're still waiting on a wonky uh, invoice, just uh, give us some time. Yeah. We're working on it. So Jennifer's waiting on hers. Yeah. The wonkies went up Friday, and then Jennifer and I worked all day yesterday alphabetizing all of the Mirabilias, alphabetizing 12 boxes of Lizzie Cates. Right. And, I mean, we look like a Lizzie Kate factory downstairs. So we do have a lot of Lizzie Cates left. It's just they will not be discounted. They will be regular retail price. That was part of the map pricing that we signed with them. And also... It um, um, if you if you have a list of of Lizzie Cates that you want, you can PM me and I can look through the list because I pretty much know what we've got downstairs. Right. But um, also Natasha Racon. I don't know if Natasha is on, but her um, her yes. needle minder has arrived. Um, April's just got to make it. Just gotta make it. But it's his little soccer. Yeah. It's, it's so cute. That is like the cutest needle minder ever. And it's clay, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the red. And it's handmade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell, see the fingerprint in it. So, yeah, so if anybody wants those, we have a few of those. They're really cute. How much are they? $4.99? I don't remember. I think they're $4.99. $4.49. We'll do $4.49. They're really, really cute. And of course, we use two N45 magnets, unlike some people. Right. Only use like an N20 or something. So Pat Carson has just joined us. Um, Pat Carson is driving and listening in the car. Have a great week. And by the way, all the dolls have been sent out if you ordered one. Love to all of you. So cute. So um, again, let's talk about Pat Carson um, needles. The sample packs, this is all we have left. They are $3 free shipping in the United States, a dollar shipping internationally. But we also have 24, 26, and 28 needles they're freaking amazing yes freaking amazing if you haven't tried the sample pack it's worth the try yeah and it, it was interesting jen said to me that uh, she tried them and she goes wow 
she goes, you know, when people were bragging about him, I was like, okay, I'll give him a try. And she says they were the best. And right. she picked him up at another shop. I don't know what she was doing. Uh, that's okay. Well, if you're on the fence about the needles, jump. Mary Sparkman said she dressed one of Pat's dolls as Cindy. <laughs> I'll have to show you sometime. <laughs> Am I wearing a t-shirt and shorts and flip-flops? Oh, oh, she my always gosh. wears shorts. Skorts. Skorts. I live in skorts. So if anybody ever finds denim skorts, I live in them. I'll show she you. Does. Even like... You can't, in the see. Winter. can't see. In the winter. I live in skorts. Live in denim skorts and they're hard to find. So that is pretty funny. I guess I I guess I'm pretty I think it's pretty funny that Mary dressed one like me. It I can't funny. wait let's to see, see that, it. Mary. Yeah, let's see if she's got her hand on her head playing with her hair. So funny. Yes, with a wrap around your foot. Oh. <laughs> so Missy Graham would like a sample pack. Uh, Missy um, can you please message one of us because we probably, if not, we have to go back through the whole show. Do you want to give your album spill today yes. before we do that? So, what am I talking about? You can yes. say. Yes. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. So, uh, the album, the Sunday show album, we put it up for your convenience. But uh, sometimes it's inconvenient for us when we are loading the album. And so many of you are so super excited that you can't possibly wait for us to price. And then it kicks us out. It does. Because we get notifications. It, it does. It says so-and-so commented and so-and-so commented. So if possible, right. we are very aware like five minutes. Then and there's no prices on there. We know. Thank you. Yeah, so, <laughs> what, so what it is is... We, I make the, I make the cover. Uh, right. Jane Sedell provides us with the cover. Thank, thank you, uh, Jane. She provides that cover for us every Sunday now, and for our wonky albums also. I put it up. April takes all the photos on my all phone. The then she loads everything Loads forty them. at a time. Then her and I sit across from each other pricing. I know the prices on right. patterns. She knows the prices on, on fabrics. Fabrics. So it's a team effort, and it does really take us a half an hour. About a half an hour, yeah. Or so, so no, to I get mean, everything fully priced once the album is loaded. So um, if you could just be patient. Yeah, because we keep getting all these, how much is this? How, how much, much is, is this? this? There's no price. We know. It's, we're trying to get them up. <laughs> and I like Mary Sparkman. Mary Sparkman just goes, me please. Me please. Right. So. Uh, it's, yeah, and so Diane, that's a great idea. Can you post when you're done? Say albums complete, right? And we'll do that. That that is really great. Um, we know how fun it is to see what we pulled together for the Sunday show. Um, Daniela says um, uh, that is what needs to be on the chalkboard fabric. Wait until priced. Wait until priced. That's, that's right. right. We work on it. It's happening. Yes, Jen. It's fine now. Yeah, the April eighth album is up. It's good. It's, it's up. good. It's been it's up just, since like noon hour time. We were ahead of schedule today. Yeah, but what it does is when we're loading them and we're trying to price, we get notifications and it kicks us out. Yeah, it comes up on the whole side of the screen, like just names, names, and names, and it'll cover up where we're pricing everything that we're pricing. And we, we love have to exit out, exit out, and then sometimes we get kicked out of the album and then have to go back. And uh, it just extends the amount of time that it takes us to get everything priced and ready for you ladies to go shopping. Yeah, so what we what we recommend is as we're loading it, you can go ahead and look through the album as we're loading it. Um, God, I almost forgot we just mentioned her. That's funny. Nah. She almost forgot. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what we were talking about, about you in a minute. But anyway, um, for the album, go look. Yes. But, look, but just shop. wait until we get the prices up before it's you. Up. Yeah, until it's we say, good. hey, it's up. Thanks, Diane. Good. Great idea. We're good to so, go. Glenn Hempel, we just mentioned you because we were talking about the wonky album. And we were saying that everybody goes through the album and they see comment, 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 comment. So they don't even comment. But there was a, a red fabric the other night that Glenn said, beautiful, and nobody claimed it. And right. so Jen said, do you want this? Because I think what happens is people see comment, 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 thinking it's gone. So, um, so that's why we were using you as an example of not... Um, scared if I move that, it'll it'll go away. Okay. So anyway, also I'm um, canceling orders. 
please, if you're going to buy something, please commit to paying for it because right. we, when, when we get an order from someone, we order the stuff so that it's in and we are stuck with a lot of stuff with people canceling orders. I don't know if they ended up having to pay more money for taxes or what, but we've had a, and you know, and, and uh, car problems and illnesses. We get that, but please think about it. Or, you know, and if you communicate with me that you're going to be another week or something before you can pay an invoice, communication is key. It is. It really and that's is. why we're trying to get better about, um, we're getting better about when we're shipping and we're out of stock. So, so say, for example, April listed a pattern today. Um, she, she listed some Courtney collection for Jen. Um, and we don't have a lot of them in stock. So say we sold six. Then we and you ordered 20 items, you might be out of something. So you'll either get this little card that says Stitchery Express missing items in your shipment will ship when they arrive. That way you know. And um, or thank you for supporting us. If it's more than one item, you'll get it on the back of this card. Right. So or, or we'll send you your your pick a pick list, which is like let's see what we have here. Yeah, there's one right there. Um and it's a pick list, and what it does is we'll highlight what we have, and you'll see what's missing. What's but blank we, is what's missing. We have all contact of everything that we know is missing. And um, I want to do a shout-out to um, Jennifer Paywis. She said to me, she goes, it was marked to ship, but I didn't get it. And I said, no problem. We'll take care of that. So, And, in fact, I had forgotten to take off one of her pieces of fabric, but, you know, her order is, like, you know, this big. <laughs> so, But we'll get it for you. So, um. Brenda loves the cards, and They're Glenn loves great. the cards. Um, I ordered also. Do I have to do it again? Pandora for what? The album. No, the the Sunday Show album is up, and it's ready to order. We were talking about the first 20 minutes, half an hour, when the album goes up. So it's up. The prices are there. Everything's ready. It's good to go. If you ordered before right now, it's fine. It's good. Everything's good. It's just when we're trying to load the album is when people are buying, 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 right. buying, buying, and then it kicks us out and we have to get back in and right. we lose pricing and everything. So just give us a little bit of time on that. That really helps fresh, us. When, when it's fresh, when it's happening and it's loading and it's brand new. So it's good to go. Go look around. Everything that we show here today on the show is listed in today's show album with prices, better pictures. Go take a look. And also, the other thing I want to talk about is I want to give a huge shout out to Gavork. He's been working his butt off. He has. 16, 17 hours a day, just dyeing fabric for us because Nick is in the hospital. He is having brain surgery. Scary. And so it's just a Gavork show right now. And he's been nice enough. And some of you that have been waiting, I sent his order to, I sent your order to him, and he's filling the order directly from his house. Right. So we split your order. Fabric will be shipped from his house. I send him the shipping label, and then we'll ship your patterns or what fabric we have here from our end. So we're trying to catch up, and we're trying to catch up because um, I'm hoping to still go to England. Um, I go every year um, to go to the London Marathon, which is on the 22nd this year, and I would be leaving on the evening of the 17th, arrive in England on the 18th, and would be there until the 28th. I'm I I'm, I'm supposed to come home on the 30th, but it's James's second birthday, and Grandma can't miss James's second birthday. Right. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, um, Lynn Kerr says I never received a list in my package. Is that new? No, you international will not get any documentation in your package. International will get nothing at all. That's a trigger for customs, and so you won't get anything. You'll get a notice. Um, in PM, if you're missing stuff, like I sent to you, Lynn, I sent what was missing. So if you're international and you're missing something, so um, that's so funny. I like your package just the way it is. That's cute. So thanks, Adrian. So anyway, I'm hoping to be able to go, but I cannot go to London unless I get my taxes done. And taxi. But we're not talking just one year. <laughs> Three. Three years of taxes. So I'm going to be busy with that. Contest winners we've talked about. Oh, so, you know, we always try to give a tip or we try to give a hint. Um, I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to give a challenge to you all. But first of all, I want to talk about um, I gave someone permission to post in the work in progress group about her daughter who's graduated from high school. The daughter is um, a senior in high school. She's graduating May 
22nd, lives down in Mississippi. She hasn't received any card, any, she doesn't have much family. And so she, I broke my heart. I mean, it just yeah, broke my heart. So, so, sad. so we told her to post in the whip work in progress group and thank you all for the astonishing so many response people. to a um, message, Elizabeth's daughter. Um, it, it'll mean a lot. She's been going out to the post office. I mean, the post office box every day looking for letters from cousins and everything and hasn't received anything. So those will be really fun. She's a cross stitcher. There's a photo of her stitching. Um, thank you. It shows what a great group we are. Right. So for those of you that are not in our work in progress whip group, her information is in there. She did not post the address. Elizabeth has it. She cannot answer it. She cannot send any more emails because Facebook thinks it's spam. So if anybody needs the address, I also have it. And we will also give the address to Tina and to April. So if anybody says, hey, can you give me Elizabeth's daughter's address for the graduation card? That'd be awesome. So um, Pandora, I'll just get you um, uh, information. Right. And um, Pandora says, can we get a larger print on the pick list for back orders? <laughs> It's how it prints. So Pandora, what I will do for you is we'll print them off of our computer that's downstairs. These come off of our thermal printer. Right. And so we have set up our big printer for some things. So we'll make sure we do that. So when we get ready to send <laughs> Pandora's, let's make sure that we do that. But Pandora, we'll get Elizabeth to post the address. Or she didn't want to post the address, which I understand, even though we're a closed group. But we will get the address for her. So the other thing is, is I have a challenge. We've had so many people lately say, well, I really want to try even weave. I really want to try it. You know, I want to get off of Ada. I want to try something. I am challenging all of you to get out of your comfort zone. Yes. If you're an Ada stitcher only, and that's all you stitch on, branch out, move up, move up to even weave. Even weave. Yeah, try and even weave. If you are... If you have never stitched with hand dyed threads, if I, yeah, if you've never stitched with hand dyed and you don't want to pay the expense of doing hand dyed threads, this is an awesome piece. If you don't want to do it, take a take a design like for example in this piece, I would do the house and make it variegated. The neat thing about it is you can go across or you can go down. Right, and it'll give you a completely different look. Yeah. Um, so, so this, what when you think of a challenge, April? What would so in cross stitch? What would you think uh, as a challenge? I'm just trying to think. You know, well, if I you're an even weave stitcher, stitch some linen. I think that's really great to really kind of push yourself um, to be more than what you are. I mean, that this could be like a total life thing. Like uh, if you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone and stitching on Ada. You know, just buy a small piece. Try to try to get an even weave wonky. If you're too mm -hmm. afraid of that, you know, the price commitment, just get something small and do something, um, you know, really <laughs> teeny tiny and cut. Yes, try try to get forty brown, so She'll have to take more packs. So she's on sixteen count. You know, it's BA is trying to see forty six count. Forty six count. That's insane. Or and, and I suggest ah. Challenge me to stitch. That's okay. Funny. We know the design. I know. There is a design that I do really like. Yeah. Um, there's a design by Designs by Lisa. There is. And what's it called? It's uh, the Black Cat Society. The Black Cat Society. I'm the owner of two black cats, and they're like my extra children. Um, many of you know I was at the vet with one of my cats over the weekend, and she's fine, but uh, it was scary. So here's a, here's Carol Duncan's going to try even weave. Jennifer Lange, special stitches, very scary. Yes. A lot of awesome tutorials on there. Start with the herringbone stitch, which is my favorite. Michelle Gabriel, not afraid of women, just too old to see. Michelle, great light above you. So here's what I tell people. When you're sitting in a, I don't know how, where you guys sit, but I sit at the couch downstairs when I can stitch with, when I'm with watching TV. So I sit, the best thing for me is I have a light over my head and not off to the side. It's got to be over my head and looking down. If you're stitching on a dark fabric, put a white fabric under you and you'll see those holes a lot more. Right. You know, and for all of those of you that have not 
seen Pat Carson's Linen Stitches book. We carry it in PDF. It's five dollars. It is brilliant. A brilliant it book. Really it really is. It gets that scare out of you. So, oh, Danielle has got a cat in the hospital Aww. this weekend, and um, so Pat is saying just download the owl and the stitch on linen, and you can do it in a couple of hours or less. So, right? but we're gonna get April set up, and we're gonna have her start stitching the Black Cat Society. You know, I made that challenge. <laughs> Who better to do it? So, you know what's funny though? Maybe we don't want her to do it because what's gonna happen is she's gonna say, "Sorry, ladies, I didn't get you invoice from home because I was stitching. I was stitching. Yeah, I can't drink the Kool Aid, ladies. <laughs> we'll all be in the same boat. So, but yeah, but I wanted to I wanted to thank all of you. We got seventy three watchers right now. I want to thank all of you for helping out with Elizabeth's daughter. Um, sending her a graduation card. It's just really, really fun. And um, once upon a time, Margaret McGinnis, she stitched a navy blue and about went um, blind before hubby took uh, pity on her and built a light box. Oh, that's so nice. You, so she's got a light box underneath her. To me, it's too bulky, but I don't know how she's got it if it's the light comes up. But I just get a white pillowcase. So whenever I'm out and Walmart has or Dollar Tree has white pillowcases. Oh, Michelle asks, what are you going to do, Cindy? And what is my challenge? My challenge is to finish James's birth sampler right. before his birthday on the 26th. Before he can read. Yeah, I'm going to finish it. Jen Lange shamed me into it. So I wish I would have brought it up. She couldn't believe I stitched. So Jen goes, so show me what you stitched. And I showed her a few things. She's like, yeah, I don't even believe you stitch. Ah. But then... <laughs> Um, so I'm going to finish James. He's got his name, James Patrick Sorley, and he's got part of his birth year. I just need to put Ogden, Utah, and then I need to put three pounds, six ounces. Right. And you that's all I need to it. do so I can do it. Look at Jen. <laughs> um, so, uh, Noreen Burkett couldn't use a light box. It was too bright. Oh. So different things, different yes. tacks. Um, so. Yes, Deborah, if you are an Ada stitcher, your next step would be even weave. Yes, so um, it is much better to go to even weave because you get the feel of going over two threads to go in over that extra hole. We call it, when you're stitching on even weave, we call it a nine hole because what it is is there's a hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here, you know, and what you're doing is you're going, you're going from one thread, crossing over another, but in that hole. Going under that hole, crossing over. It's very easy, very easy. I'm, I'm, ma I'm probably making it too difficult by calling it nine hole. So, um, uh, Claudia Horrell uses a knot light shining underneath her fabric. And that's great. It just depends on how you want to do it. So, um, and James Adele clips a small reading light under your stretcher frame so the light shines up. Smart. See, and that's it. Just works different for different people, right? And we're very fortunate to have this page because when you are trying to step out of your comfort zone obviously there's all these lovely ladies with great suggestions on what they do so if you're too afraid to take that plunge with different fabric different needles different floss uh, different techniques there's quite an array of ladies with suggestions on how you can do it that will help your transition from your comfort zone to something new. Exactly. And Carly Hicks says, you never answered my question on one of the posts. Do you ever get to do cross-stitching for yourself? I get to do cross-stitching when we're on long trips in the car and when I travel in the airplane. I look forward to an 11-hour flight to London because I can get a lot of stitching done. Right. I can get a lot of stitching done on that flight. I turn on my headphones, watch a movie, and do. Um, Adrian says, just remember, April, no wine when you stitch the holes move. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Evans has joined us. Hey. So, so um, but anyway, let's go on. Um, you know, just challenge yourself. Think of different things. Yes. And Deborah, if you will message me, I will send you a sample piece of even weave. And on that sample piece, I will do a few stitches for you. That really helped someone. Um, when I did a few stitches where I did, you know, like a half stitch, and then I did a quarter stitch, and then I did, right. and I did a row of stitches. Um, <laughs> no Cindy post of who wants to stitch for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, and and if you, yeah, and Jane is exactly right. If you have a question about a stitch, if you have a question about um, doing different 
techniques, ask in the whip group. The yes. whip group is for that. That's exactly right. Do that. Take the plunge. Do something you've always wanted to do, but you've been too afraid or unsure to try it. It's Why not? Why not? What have you got to lose, ladies? Yeah, and if it doesn't work, you know, you have then an you know. Then you know. Yeah, just do a small project. So someone's asking me in PM, what does my shirt say? Um, my shirt says PayPal Ambassadors. Um, a number of years ago, they started a program where they had a number of people that use PayPal a lot be called ambassadors. There were a handful of us where we got to go to um, California and give ideas to PayPal, talk about PayPal. You got to know a lot of the policies. You 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 got you were kind of treated like royalty. The program didn't last a long time because it was very costly. I mean, God, this shirt probably was 60 bucks. Right, it's a we, Nike shirt. Yeah, I wish I would have had about five of these. It's one of my favorites. But I still could wear it because I'm still considered a PayPal ambassador. So that's what it is. So Jean says, what a great idea. Thank you. Awesome. So funny story about Gavork. Uh, I, I asked him for Karen Highlander if he could make some chicken wire fabric. So I was expecting one color. I was expecting wire with white. Right. Oh, not Gavork. That's of course not. Gavork has to make chicken wire fabric in every freaking color. Big. Big. Brown. Small. Pink. I mean, come on. Purple. Purple. April says this one looks like what? A honeycomb. It does. It just looks like some of them do just look like honeycomb. But uh, For those of you fun. that want a purple honeycomb, there you go. that's what it looks like. To me, we're going to call it chicken wire, small chicken wire, but it really looks like purple honeycomb. It does. And then, I don't know what he was thinking on this one. It's a... Uh... A red barn on this would be freaking it would awesome. would be fun. A red barn to stand out with the chicken on, you know, like chickens around it. Yes. Would be really, really fun. This is a brand. This almost looks like Sistine Chapel on wire. It's like muddy a little bit. Yeah, muddy. Muddy wire. I bet that's what it is. Muddy wire. And who does pink? Pink. And he opaled this particular piece, which is a little <laughs> bit even stranger. Yeah, we have... Honeycomb slash chicken wire in pink opal. opal. But what's really cool, Jen Lange got to see these last night, and she goes, I agree with you, Cindy. They look three-dimensional. They do. They, they look really, really do. Should we get into this van is where we've got like 10 minutes? Oh, my gosh, yes. We've been chatting all night. So okay. thanks, Kate. You're right. So, so I think since we're about out of time, I'm just going to pick through the bin and show you no, no, some no, of good. the coolest things. We have, we like, have 20. Okay, we've we go to 50. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's just let's We're gonna I'll, I'll pull we'll go out some of the coolest things. We'll go through them fast. Are you sure? Okay. So for those of you that are collecting the the these, this one is the insomniac. So so cute. And for those of you that want a graduation one, so, so cute. cute. The intellectual would be really cute. You don't have to put the intellectual. You could put the person's name for anybody that likes owls. Right. Change the color of the hat to make their color, their school colors. Put their you know, name, their graduation. Victorian ribbon on them. You know, so, whatever. So cute. Super cute. Make it your own. Um, courier. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Courier, bridge cure. Welcome to the house. Or welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome friends. friends. Okay. Uh, Courtney. We'll be adding all the Courtney designs. We do not have them all in stock. They are coming. These are awesome patterns. They're a little expensive, but they're worth every cent. Look at this thing. This thing is the Blackwork Show. I love Blackwork. So this one I just love. Now, remember, this is um, the stitch count on this is gigantic. It is um, 159 by 471. Blackbird in stock. We carry, we have them. We do. More Courtney. Gem show. Think of some of these. You could even do some of these just by themselves. Right? Change up the color. Sonny Ritter, one of our favorite companies. We now have a shimmering butterfly, uh, shimmering dragonfly, shimmering firefly, and we knew, now have the new snow. Something. Glowing firefly snow and the snow man. buddies. Uh, back in stock, back from Mill Hill, uh, Snow Globe. We do have it back in stock. Who wants to stitch this for me? So hey, cute. Mary said I can't ask. I think this would be so cute on grass. So, so cute. So, so cute. Okay. Um, for those of you that need something for a boy, no gets, no glory. Eat, sleep, play soccer, and shoot for the goal. 
Really cute. Really, really cute. From Sue Hill is who we love. Um, my Christmas list, probably our best selling pattern we had right. last year back in stock. Um, Dare to Fly. All the photos will be in the group. Um, we've got a ton of AANs for those of you, um, Mary Sparkman. I don't know if you've discovered Alessandra Adelaide. Ton of her patterns. We just wanted to show you a few of them. She does a ton of trees. They're really, really cool. This family tree one is super fun. It's personalized, personalizable, whatever. You can make it your own. Personalized. Personalized. <laughs> For personalization. Personalization. Um, one of our dear friends who super fun. we adore, Lisa. I know um, Easter's over, but why not get yeah. started for next? Okay, now these were freaking funny. Don't be offended. I thought these were so funny. These so are from Marnack. When I am old, I want people thinking, oh my God, what's she up to now? And she's naked. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> and then, when I am old, I shall wear purple. Diane Koski, oh. is that hilarious? Diana, me in purple. Jen Laney goes, Super just so you know, cute. I don't like purple like you do. Because I'm showing her, look at the purple fabric. She goes, I don't like purple. No. And uh, move over. I have things to do. Things to do. Oh, my gosh. Adorable. So cute. So cute. We just fell in love with those. Victory Butterfly Parade for all you butterfly enthusiasts out there. Really pretty. So um, um, Mary Sparkman said Valentine Rooster. Vic Victory is making one, right? Perfect for pink barbed wire. Mike Victory has called me, and I have not called him back. But I will be keeping up with him. So... Um, really cute. I mean, he did really well. So we have this one from X's and O's called Something, Something to, to Crow, crow about. about. And I thought for the colors to stand out because they're so bright, we would put it on this tannish brown. Yeah, I think I called it, I think I just said brown. Looks like coffee. Wire. Looks like a, it looks like a, it looks like a latte. And he made it opal to make it's it even really cool. Pretty. So we fell in love with that one. I'll just lay it up here. Um, Mary Sparkman, I don't know if you've got this book, but it is really Farm cute. Farm Babies. It's called Farm Babies. It's really, really cute. And they've got a chicken and a rooster. A chicken and a rooster. This is with straw. With straw. Jen had to tell me what it was. Straw behind the chicken coop. Absolutely brilliant. It's like, that's not going to sell. I go, I bet it'll sell. I think it's just, too weird. it requires that certain pattern. Um, Red Barn. Yes, so Funky if you chicken. have that certain pattern, this is for you. There you go. Love the old lady, Susie Taylor said. Um, this one's the one that you make um, that you make with someone's old shirt that has passed so away. Sweet. But April loved this one that's I Carry You in My Heart. And she paired it with one of Gavork's new laces. Nice. Just beautiful. Really pretty. That just was beautiful. Very and in fact, Amy Brookin just loved the lace fabrics. So really fun. Um, we've got more Satsuma. This one is, is just a darling, darling design. Good morning. But excuse me, we need to freshen her up. So this is the large size chicken uh, wire. Chicken wire. And this is just chicken wire on white. So and if you look, really he's got the little knots in it. Really now, fun looking. Um, on the large chicken wire, the opening is about, about an, an inch, inch wide. About an inch. It's an inch. So just so you know that, but this would be so cute. Really fun. So, so cute. Um, Mike Vickery has um, some older designs that we really, really like, and we're bringing them out. Um, Dolphin Dreams. And because we April goes, do I put it on water or do I put it in the sky? And I said, well, they're dreaming. So they're dreaming right. of the sky. But this is... Um, light, night sky with light. Night sky with light. And this would just be awesome. Really, really Awesome. Pretty. Oh, Mary says, yes, I have the farm babies ordered from you. I thought so. I was trying to remember. Okay, now, I love fairy in the wool, fairy in the wood, but this one is just bizarre. It is a little weird. It's called Queen Bee, and there's like a giant bumblebee chilling on her lap. So it's weird, so we paired it with just equally weird fabric. This is teal honeycomb. Yeah, she's like cutting a queen bee. Whatever we just called it. But that. we needed some color. Chicken wire. And Chicken it's, wire. It's like a tealy blue in the sky. Really pretty. Where did that tape measure go? Okay. Oh, and, and the, small, the small chicken wires are a half inch. And, but you could use these as honeycomb. And right. so that's it what we did with this. definitely either way. Okay, okay, okay. So as many of you know, I grew up in Spain. I live not too far from where Don Quixote in La Mancha. 
And so I used to go to La Mancha a lot. And this is an awesome, awesome piece really fun. by Courtney, um, the Courtney collection. And it is 285 by 313. We thought and thought and thought what to put it on. And I came up with Sage Spot. Sage Spot. I just love really it. Really fun. Just love it, love it, love it. So, and then here's a fun one. This is the Cricut collection, and she's got barn quilts down here, and then she's got the quilt up here. But how fun would it be to put it on the small chicken wire? And this is the small chicken wire. Right, and wire. I called it white wire, I think, in the thing, in the album, because the. Uh, white small wire. They're white. Yep. <sighs> Oh okay, it's five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere by Amy B. And I thought April said today, yeah, I had some wine last night. I have a headache. <laughs> this reminded me of a headache. Um, this is absolutely the most amazing fabric I think really we've ever fun. had. We call it jawbreaker, but um, you could call it headache. Uh, but he he calls it jawbreaker because he likes our name. It's absolutely beautiful, and it'd just be fun to have its five bucks somewhere on there. Um, as you guys know, I love ink circles, and ink circles, um, Tracy Horner's mother is a designer of knit um, knit sweaters, and Tracy took Fjord ponies and made it into a sampler. Not a lot of distributors carry this pattern, so I ordered this directly from um from Tracy, it is beautiful, beautiful. And we paired it with parchment, just to make it stand out a little bit. Right, really pretty. Um, many of you have seen moonbeams and stardust. We have not carried it for for a little bit. She's sitting on a moon, but if you don't want to sit her on the moon, put you her can on have, one. Put her on one. Let her look like she's sitting in the moon. So pretty. So fun. Or you could use something else. Now this one was fun. April paired this. Housework makes you ugly. It makes you ugly. This was made by Amy Brooken with her sister when they were sisters and best friends. And April paired it with these little swirls. Just seems fun. Just entertaining, fun. kind of whimsy. Yep. Yep. Then we have more. Uh, Pamela Gibson, your dog park arrived yesterday, so we're getting them in the mail to you. Um, April paired it with. Grass. I mean, what else do you do at a dog park? Exactly. I think it would be so fun to use this grass and put some poop on it. <laughs> you know those, those little poop emojis? They belong on these little grasses. That'd be really, really cute. Okay. Um, April did Garden Cat on Pale Misty Blue hey, really with Opal. Opal. And then a new one, Michelle Gabriel, are you watching? Nest egg. Nest egg. And April paired it with? Pie. Peonies. Peonies. How do you say it? I don't know. I always thought it was peonies. And I always thought it was peony. I think it's tomato, tomato. Exactly. Really pretty. Yep, yep. So. <laughs> and then, uh, just for you guys to know, this is out of print. We have a few left. We don't have a lot left. Just a few left. Because they're gone. Um, out of print, but this is Sweet Land of Liberty, and you've got all the little branches of the service. You can change them around. You can put this on so many different fabrics. I right. know Kim, Kim Morrow put this on um, Americana Stars, and it was beautiful. But I think it would just be really cool to pull, put one of the small ones right there, and then you can put one of the soldiers or one of the Marines or whatever, and then put their name in right. the Right, you can in personalize the line. it for your yeah. loved one. Be awesome. Really fun. Awesome. Um, Happy Bat from AAN. Love her. This is a brand new fabric for us. This was from Gavork's parents. Thank you, Carrie Poindexter, for asking us to, to have this made. This is called Galaxy Twirl. And it's an interesting, interesting fabric. It's, it's kind of a deep purple with a deep gray and with a little bit of purple in it, it is really, really pretty. It's the picture doesn't do it justice. No, it does not. Okay, we were going through looking for chicken patterns. We found Madame Chantilly, and it's a little sampler of a little dancing chicken. And I paired her with wire. This one actually looks like wire. It's just like the large size, but these are the small ones. And it's three. It's really, got a shade. Really fun. It does have that three dimensional. Look. And it's got like the knot. It does. But wouldn't that be cute? Like she's dancing behind, you know, the wire behind her, like she's out. Real quick, we have all of the new, brand new from Satsuma Street. Oh, cute. So cute. I don't like my Taras as well, but they're really cute. 
if you buy the whole set, you get 10% off. If not, they are $8.99 each, I believe. And they are awesome. They are really, really awesome. Really fun. They're individually taken in the album. So if you want to see your sign, look there. Carlos, let us know about the Sweet Land of Liberty leaflet. Just message one of us. Um, so, oh, uh, Mary's Christmas is hidden, Mary, because you ordered it all. But we will post it for you. We don't have any in stock. We only ordered what you ordered. But Gavork made Mary Mary's Christmas fabric for her uh, sled and reindeer. Right. So it's really cool. A uh, farm from Bobby G. It's called Farm Living. No G. Farm Living. Living. And I just thought it needed to be on blue, so we paired it with blue chicken wire. Yeah, really fun. Just fun. And then. This one's from Amy Bruken, and Be Happy or Be Quiet. Be quiet. And we paired it with Chicken Wire or Honeycomb. On Fairy Mist. On Fairy Mist, and it brings out all the Fairy Mist colors. It's really hard to see, but it's beautiful. If you've seen the Fairy Mist fabric before, you have a gist. I thought it was really cute. Be Happy really or Be fun. Quiet. And it would be, I think it'd just be cute because that looks like Honeycomb. Right. So, so we've got about three or four more minutes. Um, for those of you, Awake My Soul. We paired it with Old Fashioned. Awake My Soul is just a beautiful piece from La Di Da. A new one from Tiny Modernist is The Swan Princess. April paired it with Bluebell? Babbling Brook. Oh, Babbling Brook. Babbling Brook from Witchold. This one is so cute. The heart, My Heart Belongs to the Sea. She's cross stitching. A cross stitching mermaid. I paired it with Sun, Sea, and Sand. She would just have to be placed kind of a cute. She could be paired, you know, like right there in the water. You could cut it and get a cup of it right there, and you don't even need the sand and use the sand for something else. Right, really fun. Uh, Mary, here's October, and I paired it with the tiny um, snowflake I, on beige. Is that what you called it, or tan? I think that's I, snowflake. I think I called this natural wire in the album because the background is kind of a natural color, but the wire is definitely very wire looking. That's awesome. So Denise Rodriguez has just joined us from Michigan. She called me the other day um, and said, hey, Cindy, some of your fabrics at the Rocking Horse. And what it is is a Rocking Horse is a store in Michigan. And, yes, our fabric, we have talked to Beth Johnson at um, Yarn Tree, and we're, uh, we're allowing, I guess that's not the word, but we're telling them, yes, you want to order this fabric because it's a great seller for us. And get it out to other stores. So we're we're getting a number of fabrics that are ours. A falling snow, one of our laces, autumn maples. They're all being released, so you're going to start seeing them in other stores. Right. I'm um, carried by Yarn Tree. Um, so exciting about that. Um, Tiny Modernist, a, a darling. Uh, let's go on cute. an And then we goes, what should we pair this with? And I said, well, um, everything on that trip, triple thing, trip tech is green is blue i mean we need a sky right so we paired it with um blue, blue whisper, whisper or sweet baby james and mary loves sweet baby james and so do i he's kind of cute but um you can make it a big one or you can make it one long one right It'd be really cute long uh by um abby rose long may she wave you can put this on any of our pieces but april really oh, liked wood. it on wood fun. april really liked on wood okay we have a lot more. Yeah, we, um, we just are out of time because we chatted a little bit about contests. Uh, again, the winners are Christine Hillis. If it doesn't open, it wasn't your door. Mary Sparkman, I know the voices in my head aren't real, but sometimes their ideas are amazing. And Deb, Deborah Brown, I need to stop, I whispered to myself as I clicked add to cart. <laughs> and I would put as I clicked buy it now. So anyway, um, lots going on. Um, we are hoping our next fabric release after the chicken wire, which we wanted in one color and got it in fifteen, is going to be paisley Super on pretty. top white paisley on top of fabrics. Oh, this isn't my paisley shirt today. Yeah, but it'll be a white paisley on top of fabric. So we're excited about that. So, but anyway, lots of love to all of you. We don't want to lose this. If we go over an hour, we tend to lose it. So, see you guys. We're catching up on shipping. April's working until 6 tonight, so you'll start seeing notices that your stuff is shipping. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.